Let's talk about portals now. Portals basically manage all those reverb space behaves from one to another. In real life, if you go from one room to another, the reverb from room 1 will not suddenly disappear as soon as you enter in room 2. You are still hearing some of the audio content of room 1 even if you're in room 2. In other words, the sounds from room 1, no matter if it's a dry sound or a diffused reverb sound, will be spilled into room 2 and vice versa. Portals recreates that behavior by simply crossfading between two rooms. Simple as that really. Let's listen to that. Here I have two different environments, a big room and a small room. As you can see, there's two portals here. Let's check this one real quick. What's going on here is that one side of the portal is touching the AK Special audio volume from the big room and the other side of the portal is touching the AK Special audio volume of the small room. So as the player goes through the portal, the overall sound field from one room will drop down while the sound field from the other room will be turned up. Since there's no sources in the small room until the player enters it, the only thing we are hearing while being in that room is the sound coming from the speakers in the big room. Let's check out the game object profiler in WISE to see what's exactly going on here. we are in the big room, we are hearing the direct signal from the speakers as well as the diffused reverb field from that room, aka from the rev underscore big ox bus. You can see that the direct path from those speakers are following the player as long as he is within that room. This is the straight line right there. Let's get out of the big room and see what will happen. As you can see, both speakers are still emitting their own direct path until they hit the portal. If the player is still in the line of sight of those speakers, the direct path is still hitting the player. But as soon as he gets out of that line of sight, you see the line bending at the position of the portal. What we are experiencing here is called diffraction. Diffraction is the acoustic phenomenon where any sound will sort of bend around the edge of an object. I'm not quite an expert on that subject. But from what I understand, the way WISE simulate that physical phenomenon is by filtering a sound depending on what angle the player is compared to that edge. We can see that right there. The more intense the angle from the player to the edge of that opening is, the more percentage of filtering is applied to the source. Here, everything in the big room. 